Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with another educational video about medical tourism. Today I want to talk about medical tourism websites and how you can get more interaction from your website visitors. How I chose this subject was I was speaking to a medical tourism facilitator a few days ago and he said, hey Gil, I'm starting to get some website traffic. I'm starting to get some patients to visit my website, but they aren't really filling out our forms. They aren't contacting us. They're just visiting our website and leaving without interacting with us. So I want to talk about different ways and different methods you can use to get more interaction from your website visitors. So just for starters, you got to have a website. I know that sounds like a no brainer, but I have heard stories of medical tourism facilitators who say, hey, Hey, I'm just going to start a medical tourism business just by having a Facebook page or just by having social media. But in today's day and age, uh, patients, they do their research. And if they go to Google and they try to find you on Google or any other search engine and they can't find your website, that's pretty questionable. Um, they they want to see that you have a presence online. You have a brand uh, that can be found and that you're trustworthy. And one way of doing that is having a website that's highly visible on Google. So when I talk about the website, um, and I wrote down a few notes as well. Uh, when I talk about the website, you want to have different features on the website. So once they land on your website, you want to have things like chat functionality on your website uh, that greets them uh, once they land on the, on the website. So um, once you land there, it'll have a greeting. Hey, if you need any help while you're on our website, uh, you can reach out to us here. We're online to help. This is a great way to get interaction from your website visitors when they're when their interest is the highest, right? When they're on your website, when they're looking at your information and they're looking at different benefits and services that you provide. Uh, this is a good way to reach out to them uh, and initiate some form of contact. And once you speak to them over chat, hopefully you can get, grab their email address or grab their telephone number and set up a telephone call or communicate with them some other way as well. But that's a great functionality to have is, is chat functionality. And also having um, WhatsApp, uh, having that on your website as well. You wanna give patients or website visitors uh, multiple ways of reaching out to you. Whichever way they're comfortable with, you wanna have that, uh, that method on your website and make it easier for them to contact you. Also guys, if you need a template website for your medical tourism agency, or you need a customized website, I'm gonna leave some links below where you can reach out to me and we can discuss those different options. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the forms on your website and making it easy for patients to locate your contact information. So when it comes to contacting you, yeah, I talked about the chat functionality and WhatsApp, but you also wanna have your email address and your telephone number on the top of your website, right? And you want to have it laid out there so if they do want to pick up the phone they want to call you they can see it clear at the very top of your website your email address your telephone number and any other contact information uh that they can reach out to you want to have it at the very top of your website in regards to your contact forms you want to have a contact form on each page of your website and on your contact form, you only want to ask for basic information uh, because the longer your form is, the less likely it is that a patient's going to fill it out. So you want to ask for things like their telephone number, uh, their email address, their first name, uh, the country that they reside in. You want to ask this basic information and the rest of the information you can get over the telephone once you contact this patient about their trip. And like I said, this is just to make sure you get more people filling out this form and you get more patient leads that way. The next way you can get more patients to fill out your forms and to contact you more through your medical tourism website is pop-ups. And I know pop-ups have a negative connotation. Uh, people, when they think of pop-ups, they think of annoying uh, alerts or annoying uh, disrupting uh, ads, but that's not what I mean. Uh, when I say pop-up, I more specifically mean an exit pop-up. An exit pop-up is triggered once a patient or once a user is about to exit your website. So it doesn't interrupt their experience on your website. It lets them enjoy uh, every aspect of your website. But once they're ready to leave, it's a final message to the, to the user uh, to contact you. And the way you do this is you want to offer them something of value. And just for an example, offering them an ebook about medical tourism or ebook about your destination, something of value that you think they will find value in. And once you offer this to them on your exit pop-up, uh, you don't want to ask them for a lot of information. On your pop-up, you want to have a short form, maybe get their email address and their name, something really basic. And in exchange for that information, you'll be providing them something of value. Like I said, it can be an ebook, it can be anything. You're really going to have to sit down and think about what your website users uh, would find valuable. 
Um, so is it an ebook? Is it some form of a discount? What is it? But you need to come up with that depending on what your specific niche in medical tourism is and offer that on an exit pop-up. Like I said, an exit pop-up is not going to disrupt their visit while they're on your website. It's only going to be triggered once the uh, patient is about to leave your website. It's just one last effort to try to grab some of their information and to provide them something of value as well in the exchange. So the next topic I want to go over is making your website user friendly. And what I mean by making your website user friendly is that your website is going to look completely different depending on the device that the person is using to view the website. So if someone is viewing your website on a desktop, it's going to look completely different if they view it on a uh, mobile device or on an iPad. So you need to set your website up where it looks professional on each one of these devices. Um, a lot of people make the mistake of just creating a website. They don't think about people viewing their website on multiple devices and the website showing up different. So you need to keep that in mind when creating a website and you want to make sure it shows up professionally on each one of these devices. And the last one I want to go over is a language translation button. So guys, if you're going to be dealing with patients from all around the world, you want to make sure that they can view your website content in their native language. So a language translation button provides this. You want to make sure once they land on your website that the language translation button is at the top of your website. And so these patients can feel comfortable viewing your website in their own language and they can get a full grasp of what you provide as a medical tourism facilitator and what services you'll be providing to them as a prospective client. Hey guys, if you found value in this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, these are only some basic tips that you need to have on your medical tourism website. Uh, I'm going to do some other follow-up videos with more points, uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a basic idea of some things that you can do to increase uh, user interaction on your website. Um, and we also provide template websites and customized websites. So I'm going to leave some links below, but I look forward to speaking to you guys soon. And thanks for watching the video.